Now let's start doing the finishing detail. With this twig, let's do the medium color, which is taking the base black that the twig was blocked in with and adding in a little bit of burnt umber and dioxazine purple. This makes a nice neutral color that has a bit of warmth to it. Now I'll introduce a second color, and this is just a little bit warmer, so what I've done is taken that, uh, that mixture with the uh, burnt umber and dioxazine purple and added in a little bit of um, raw sienna and a little more titanium white. And now comes a nice warm highlight. What I've added in here is a lot more titanium white and a lot more of the cadmium red, or sorry, cadmium yellow medium. And you can see how this warmth starts creating a real turning effect in the shape of our branch. Now, don't forget to put a highlight in the shadowed areas too. This I've used a cerulean blue with titanium white. And now I go back to the uh, petal highlight color and all I'm doing here is repainting the top end of that petal and as you can see it slightly breaks the rounded shape of the uh, the goldfinch. This helps to tie in the two uh, together, foreground and middle ground. And here I start painting in a strong highlight. This is pure titanium white straight out of the tube. And here you can see that I'm using a dabbing effect. I want to put highlights in selected spots, not everywhere. And here I'm just painting in a, a few stray feather, uh, down feathers that are coming through the uh, black primary wing feathers. I'm just using the uh, base yellow feather color and I added in a little bit of cadmium yellow light and titanium white to make it a highlight. And again working the uh, darkest darks and the lightest lights this is the end where I'm putting in the darkest dark areas that I want to push back and bringing up the really highlighted foreground areas with a lot of light vibrant color. Okay, and that is one of the easiest ways of creating depth is, is playing dark and light off of each other. Now looking at this area, it looked a little flat to me. So what I'm going to start doing is bringing out dark, dark areas in here and light, light highlights on the foreground edges on the top blossoms. So to create this uh, strong rim lighting, I'm using almost a pure titanium that is just ever so slightly tinted with a touch of cadmium yellow light. Now this is definitely where you're also going to start using a little artist license, which means just because it's in the photograph doesn't mean it should be, should be there, and vice versa, just because it isn't in the photograph doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Uh, with my rim lighting, I want to make sure that any of the highlighted edges that I'm painting are those that are facing in a directional view of a light source. And I also want to make sure that my darks are being painted in on the back side of anything that is catching light, okay? So just be aware of where your light source is and paint according to it. Now I've only put in five strokes of highlighting, but you can see how much depth has been created by those five short strokes. Now I also want to push the uh, goldfinch forward a little bit. So even though this uh, area right here that I'm painting right now wasn't dark in the original uh, photographic reference, I'm darkening it so that it will shoot that rim lighting of the uh, finch forward and hence push the bird itself forward. Now here I'm adding in some pure uh, cadmium yellow uh, light and make sure it's the cadmium yellow light because you want it to be very warm. And this is to create a, a lot of strong uh, warm lighting and also to tie in the bird with the, uh, with the blossoms. 
Now these darker areas that I'm painting in are uh, taking the blossom base colors and adding in a little bit of a Mars a black and a bit of uh, dioxazine purple. And just to say it again for the hundredth time, don't put the highlights everywhere. Put them in selective areas, areas or corners that you want to shoot forward, okay? And here we'll add in some extra detail, just painting in the stamen of this blossom. Here I'm using uh, Camion Yellow Medium with a touch of Titanium White, and then darkening the other sides by using a touch of Mars Black with Dioxazine Purple. I'll repeat that warm yellow in the leaves, and that's again just using some cadmium yellow medium and a touch of titanium white. Now here I'm softening off an edge with transition colors, which is usually taking the background and foreground color and mixing a value that's about halfway between the two. This softens off edges quite nicely. I also thought that this corner was too white and pasty, so I'm spraying in some cadmium yellow light here, and you can see all the white areas now will take on the glow of that yellow. It's a nice, quick, easy way to really warm up an area and uh, also soften it off all in the same blow. And here's the finished product. This is Touch of Gold, American Goldfinch. And I hope you've uh, learned a lot from this DVD. And I look forward to working with you on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.